What do you do to reassure people who are age 55 and older your Medicare will How not do you change? Win that battle? And if you know that the other side's willing to lie, if you know that they're you willing demand, to. You demand that journalists do their job. Right. Well, what about this suggestion, which is the Romney campaign needs to look at it in terms of character, that they have to undermine the credibility of the other side? The other side's lying to you. They've lied about this, they've lied about that. You can't believe them when they're attacking us. I think, you know, what the, the Wolf Blitzer exchange mm. uh, that you talked about with Debbie Wasserman Schultz was, was very effective. And I think you're going to. Responsible journalists who don't. Who, who don't like to be thought of as shills for the other side right. are going to have. This is just absolute <laughs> hard line yeah. fact. This is not something that because there can be a debate a about opinion. Line. Right. It because is it's a so hard line fact. The but the other, you know, the, the, the 760, I want that, you yeah. to talk about this because I have literally been at other tables talking to someone <clears throat> who has said President Obama did not cut Medicare. Tables, wait, and leather? Tables, <laughs> tables like this? You mean rock Can we just show center? you one of these? No, no. Tables, tables no. like this. Play it, guys. In other words, whatever these guys have done before, we can't talk about. Well, it, let's talk about, we can talk about the fact that Obama did take $716 billion same out of Medicare. The same exact number, by the way, we, which Ryan put, takes away in his budget. Go ahead. But Same not number. in the Romney budget. And, and, <laughs> and if you want to debate a budget that's not going to be policy, that's up to okay. you. Yeah, a, a table like that, um, where someone has literally said, no, he didn't cut that money from Medicare. Right. Right. Explain this to me, because I need to uh, get some effective responses for this. Uh, I mean, it is, <laughs> it is mind-blowing. They are someone lying. Someone literally because looks at you and says, no, he didn't. <laughs> they're saying that the cut is not really a cut because it goes from <laughs> Medicare to, to Obamacare. Obamacare. Right. So it's the same spending. They're saying the end as we know it is the voucher. If you want to talk right. to people who are under 55, say, nothing's going to change. You're already on vouchers now. You and your employer are sharing it. It's just going to be you and the government but next Medicare time around. Medicare and Obamacare so explain this. Yeah, let's break but, down but, the but $716 billion. Dollars. we got to really make this clear. What the claims are from both sides are you, is you are cutting $716 billion from Medicare because everyone knows this has political saliability because it affects seniors today. And both sides are claiming that the, others do, the other does it. Ovid, can you please yes. explain to Let's Yes, let's cut through the claims and talk about actual facts. Right. So the actual facts are, number one, with Obamacare, Obamacare cuts Medicare over the next 10 years by $716 billion relative to prior law and uses that money to fund Obamacare. So Obamacare has $1.9 trillion in new health care spending and pays for that by raising taxes by $1.2 trillion and cutting Medicare by $700 billion. Okay. That's how it's deficit neutral. Okay. So that's what Obamacare does. What the Ryan budgets that were passed in the House of Representatives did, did was they repealed all of Obamacare except for the Obamacare Medicare cuts because they needed that for other aspects of the overall budget that they were proposing. And that's what uh, Chris Matthews... Part of Matthews, which was deficit reduction, which, right? Deficit Ryan, reduction. quite honestly and clearly, and, simply cut $716 billion from Medicare. And well, so, so there's a difference between using the $716 billion to pay for $1.9 trillion in new spending, which is what Obamacare does, yes. and using that spending to shore up the solvency of the Medicare program, which is what Paul Ryan was doing right. with the House Republican budget. So that leads us to the third point, which is that the Romney budget actually says, so what Governor Romney has said is, we're going to re repeal Obamacare entirely, including those Medicare cuts, and our Medicare reforms will not affect anyone over the age of 55. He's going to take that $716 billion and put it back into Medicare. Put it Medicare. back into Medicare. So here's a question. Does Romney even have to say that or defend the Ryan plan? I mean, no. you saw John Sununu there saying, that's Ryan's plan. The person on the ticket here is Mitt Romney. We'll discuss his plan. I, I have a simple thing to, right. to throw to you and the, and the table. There's four ways we play with health, pay with health care. We have private, not getting anything from government, TRICARE. We have Medicaid and Medicare. Now Obamacare is coming in. He's taking that $716 billion and pushing all of the elderly people into competition for the resources with the people on Medicaid and, and Obamacare. Am I right about that? So they're, they, they, that was a separate spending, right? Medicare was separate from the other types of health care spending, uh, TRICARE and Medicaid. The Washington Free Beacon had a piece saying that they are now cutting a, a, um, the fee. They are raising the fees for TRICARE to encourage the veterans to get on Obamacare. So now you're going to have the military, the numbers of military, their spending is not going to be separate anymore. They're competing. And then the elderly, they're competing. So to say that there isn't going to be rationing when all of these people are competing for a smaller chunk of government spending with their cost reductions and their, ta and their tax increases, it almost sounds like they're pushing everybody into one program and not calling it national health care. Well, well, so let me make a point that's related to, you, you raise a lot of points here. Let me respond to one thing, which is 
the mechanism of these cuts. So Obamacare cuts $716 billion. Where do those cuts come from? What, where is the money coming out of the system? Because you hear a lot of the Obama campaign people saying, oh, well, we're, not, we're preserving seniors' benefits. There's no change to your benefits. Well, that's technically true, but it's not honest. And the reason why is what Obamacare does to take that money out of the system is it pays doctors and hospitals less. So currently, uh, if you're on Medicare and you go to see your doctor, your doctor will get, on average, about uh, 80 cents for every dollar he might get paid by a private insurer. And that difference is growing over time. So what's happening is there's a huge gap between what Medicaid, what Medicare, and what private insurance pays a doctor to see you and to, and to serve you. And the reason why that matters is that over time, that gap gets so large that doctors say, you know what, I can't run my private practice. I can't run my business. This I can't make any money, money seeing right. you. Yeah. you. So yeah. what they do is you, you, you're on Medicare. You call your doctor to get an appointment, and your, your doctor says, sorry, uh, I don't have an appointment until uh, to December. Sounds it's right. a great point.